Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Yusuf UNS Solo On this opportunity, I'd like to present 10 verbs in English which are commonly used in active forms Okay, do you know what they are? Alright, in a moment, we are going to come with these 10 words However, as usual, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel first and don't forget to like this video and turn on the notification button and share with your friends as many as possible you can. Okay, let's get started. The first three words have the same meaning, okay, and they are all commonly used in active forms rather than in passive forms number one is begin okay begin the word begin is commonly used in active rather than in passive so for instance if we say our class begins at 7 30 okay so Normally, we say like that in English language, especially the one by native speakers. Normally, they don't say the class was begun at 7.30. So, somehow, some of Indonesian students uh, translate into English based on what they think in English. Because normally, we say in Bahasa Indonesia, the class was begun. Okay, class dimulai not class mulai so that's why the translation into english becomes the class was begun okay so this is not proper so the more proper to say is the class begins okay you got it right very good and the second one is the word start start okay so begin and start has the same meaning start also has similar characteristic so referring to the previous sentence the class starts at 7 30 not the class is started okay and the number three is commence commence okay commence also means start or begin and commence also treated in such a way similarly like the word begin and start so if we say the program commenced in the 1960s, okay, not the program was commenced, okay, all right? So I hope number one, two, and three could be understood well, all right. And then uh, the next two words have the same meaning, okay, and they are also having the characteristic of being treated such verbs which are commonly used in active rather than in passive what are they okay number four is the word finish finish okay what time does the class finish not what time was the class finished or is the class finished okay the class finishes at 4 p.m not the class is finished at 4 p.m. Okay, so the meaning would be a little bit misleading if you say the class is finished. Somehow it like requires the doer who ends the class. Meanwhile, in this case, we do not think about who ends the class, but we only focus on what time the class finish. Okay? And the number five is also the same with number four in terms of meaning, namely the word end. End. What time does the class end? The class ends at 4 p.m., not the class is ended. So, particularly the word end and finish have similar characteristics. They are normally treated in active rather than in passive okay and then word number six seven and eight they are also having the same meaning namely number six namely the word happen 
happen? Well, truly speaking, I frequently hear many people say uh, the incident was happened. Well, do you think it's right? No. Native speakers of English normally don't say like that. They normally say the incident happened. Happened. Okay, so please do bear in mind that actually the word happen, which means terjadi. Although you might say terjadi is like a passive because you prefix ter. But in English language, this is an active verb. So that's why you must use it in active form, not in the passive form. So you should say the incident happened okay, in the 1970s. Right. This also applies to the next words, namely the word occur occur okay have you ever heard this before occur okay the accident occurred in the main road the accident occurred in the main road not the accident was occurred but occurred without to be okay and Number eight is an idiomatic expression which has similar meaning to the previous two. That is take place. To take place. Yeah, to take place means to happen or to occur. Well, the conference took place for two days. The conference took place for two days. Not the conference was taken place okay so please do not be mistaken in the way how you use the word take place occur and happen okay these are more commonly used in active rather than in passive okay very good and then number nine okay this is also one of the words especially verbs in English which is also frequently mistaken by many to be words of verbs which is used in passive rather than in active what is that that is the word graduate graduate okay sometimes someone said i was graduated in 1990s well that's not correct okay you should say i graduated yeah, in 1990, not I was graduated, but I graduated. Okay, so um, please be aware of this, okay? Because once you identify the correct one is like this and then keep it in mind and hopefully next time you won't be mistaken anymore. And then the last word is the word rest. Rest. Yeah, so some people say, I am rested for a while or I I was arrested for a while well it is not not okay to say like that but you should say I rested or normally it is accompanied with the word take I took a rest for a while after working okay or you could say I rested yeah, in a shady place for a while before continuing my trip not I was rested but I rested or I took a rest okay what do you think about today's video well hopefully you can get some lessons from this video and you can make use of these words correctly in the future and you're not going to be misleading or to be mistaken anymore well, that's all I think for my video this time. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again in my next videos. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye.